Were you more impressed with the move that Akil makes or the confidence to actually try that in, in that type of situation? Uh, I guess a little bit of both, but we were very excited. The whole bench, we all were excited, the whole building. Uh, what a move, and when you get a reward like that, uh, on that kind of stuff he, he pulled, uh, that's, that's even better, so good for him. This game tonight, how do you kind of look at it compared to the other night? Both very tight throughout, and you guys pull away very close to the end, obviously, tonight in overtime. Yeah. No, um, totally different game. We didn't like at all the way we played um, uh, the last couple of games, and uh, we talked about it. Um, I thought we had a good practice the other day, and uh, and we came out totally different. You know, this, this playoff hockey games, games will be tight. Uh, little mistakes, little things will matter, and uh, and exactly that's exactly what happened tonight. It seemed like you had a lot of minutes from everybody tonight. It was a pretty balanced. You were able to rely on a lot of guys like up and down the lineup. Do you feel like everybody kind of contributed to the, to this win? Uh, for sure, and we needed it. Um, you know, it's uh, um, if you guys were missing, and um, you know, if you look at um, you know the young guys were the fourth line, and and and, and even. Dodes moved up to the third line. You know, those guys, uh, uh, we need them right now. And um, and um, and that's the only way we can, uh, you know, hold those kind of wins together. And uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, the, the big guys, I think they've been pretty good all year long leading us. And and, and especially uh, if a power play doesn't go right now, um, you know, we need some other guys to step up and, and maybe score more five on five. So. So a lot of different reasons, uh, but yeah, to answer your question, uh, we definitely need everyone, and uh, and I thought we definitely had everyone tonight. You told us a couple of nights ago that you wanted to kind of simplify the power play a little bit more. Well, these last couple of weeks, when you guys have done a lot better at five on five, have you guys tried to simplify your five on five play as well? Uh, we, uh, yes. I mean, uh, I, I, again. Uh, how do we get to the offensive zone? I think that's something we, we always address all year long. And in the O zone too, sometimes, uh, you know, it depends a little bit uh, who we're going to play against. And, uh, you know, today against Calgary, we know it's it's going to be uh, their net play against our net play. And uh, whoever comes out, uh, um, you know, better on the end, who probably has a good chance to win. So, um, so we kind of see it on that, and that means we wanted to put a lot of pucks on that and, and, and maybe get a, some go, uh, uh, dirty goals. And, but they, you know, they had the, the right bounces too. They had the, the goalie played very well, so they kept us, uh, you know, off the sh uh, score sheet for a long, long time. So, but I'm, I'm glad we got it done. Akil's two game-winning goals in a row for him. Obviously, completely different types of, of plays. But I know you've talked about him a little bit this year as being obviously a really important player for your team. But this seems like he's taken it even maybe to the next level. Uh, yeah, no, he's been outstanding all year long. He, he's been our leader, and you know it's funny. Uh, two days, or oh, two games ago, you know, with Houdon out and, and 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 some other guys playing a lot of minutes, I told him to to take church and. That's exactly what I did. He's obviously been here a few years, even before you were the head coach, but missed a lot of time. And just curious how you've seen him grow in just the two seasons you've been here as the head coach. Yeah, I mean, last year was just a sh very short season for him, so I didn't, I didn't see much. Um, we were s working on a lot of things last year, how to become a leader and how to play the right way, and also with, uh, with passion and with grit. Um, and sometimes you have to get out of the, out of your comfort zone, and he was just not able to do that. Um, this year, um, totally different, right? So, again, that's I give him credit a lot. Um, we've been addressing it. Uh, I've been talking to him a lot. So, you know, he's one of those guys. He uh, he wants to hear the truth, and that's what I give him all year long. And you know, as long as he answers the bell every night, um, you know, I'm very happy. But uh, he all hope. I'm not surprised, let's put it that way. He, he's not done yet, and hopefully, uh, not this year, but hopefully down the stretch, if he keeps going like that, he, he might get another, or he will get a, a crack uh, with the Kurtz, for sure. I didn't see the, the final score, but last I saw Bakersfield and Coachella are in overtime. Bakersfield's giving them everything that, that they can handle. I'm not sure you're not surprised, because you've seen Bakersfield, you know they're good. They're, you know they're coming in here, that's gonna be a, a pretty big 
rematch for you guys to try to get him back after last week? Yeah, no, on, on paper, for me, Coachella and Bakersfield are the two best teams. And if you look at Bakersfield's lineup now, after the trading deadline, NHL deadline, um, they're, they're packed. And um, I, you know, in the standings, I think they're still a little bit behind us, but, you know, that's, that's a team I think will finish very strong. They have a really good goaltending, so it's going to be a challenge. Um, I'm not going to say uh, we can't beat them, but it will be, it will be a tough test for sure.